regard all things, all praises for what he has already done and what he is going to do. Amen? Amen. Amen. We will now have the announcements and recognition of visitors by Mrs. LaCheryl Fulton White. We will now have that by Ms. White. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Good morning, Elijah Church family. Good morning. Good morning. These are your announcements for November 3rd, 2024. Mm -hmm. um, Elijah members, thank you so much for the wonderful card shower. It was a lovely surprise. You are so thoughtful. God bless Reverend J.J. Cooper. On November 5th, um, which is Tuesday, there will be a trustee meeting virtually at 7 p.m. Uh, the number is on the bulletin. Um, Please make sure, um, all trustees, uh, please call in to that number. Please make sure that you all are on time as well. Um, November 10th is Friends and Family Day. Uh, each member is asked to pay $50. These donations will go towards our apportionment. Uh, today is All Saints Sunday, and today we will be remembering uh, Patricia Allen, and Blanche Bettered Morris. Let us remember in our prayers our, with our visits and support those members in our family that are sick, shut, and hospitalized, those with special needs, caregivers, and those in bereavement. Um, also, um, for Friends and Family Day on next Sunday, we do have envelopes. Um, for okay. we do have envelopes um, for uh, y'all have cabinets? No. Okay, we do have um, special envelopes for uh, friends and family day. Um, so please uh, make sure that you see the urchins in the back or Miss Jane Vice uh, for those envelopes. Um, do we have any visitors? There being none, uh, let us govern, govern ourselves accordingly. Thank you. Amen. amen, amen. Thank you, Mrs. White, for those announcements on this morning. All who are able, please let us stand for and remain standing through the call of worship as we notice our hymn of praise on page, page 402. Sing with all the saints in glory. Amen. I'm sorry, 702. 702.
our call to worship as is printed in our bulletin. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. The risen Christ is with us. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Amen. Now we have come to the time of our scripture readings for this morning. The Old Testament lesson will be coming from Isaiah 25, verses 6 through 9. <clears throat> Isaiah 25. Verses 6 through 9. On this mountain, the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of rich food for all peoples, a banquet of aged wine, the best of meats, and the finest of wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the shroud that enfolds all peoples, the sheet that covers all nations. He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all our faces. He will remove the disgrace of his people from all of the earth. The Lord has spoken. Amen. Now let us notice the reading from the epistle. Revelation. Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 through 6, 8. Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 through 6, 8. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first, first earth has passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, city the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, Hallelujah. prepared as a bride beautif beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud, loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. Yes. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things have passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Amen. Now, let us please stand for the reading of our gospel lesson that is coming this morning from John chapter 11, verses 32 through 44. John chapter 11, verses 32 through 44. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would have not died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in the spirit and trouble. Trouble. Where have you laid him, he asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him. But some of them said, could not he have opened the eyes of the blind man, had kept this man from dying? Jesus once more him, <laughs> came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there for four days. Then Jesus said, did I not tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory of God? Mm -hmm. So they took away the stone, and Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I, I, I knew that you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out with his hands and feet wrapped in strips of linen and cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the dry clothes and let him go. Thus I have when read from the Old Testament of Isaiah, the epistle lesson of Revelation and the Gospel of John 11, 32 through 44. 
the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. You may be seated. At this time, we will have our memorial moment by Reverend J. Jeanette Coop. Amen. Amen. Many of you had people knocking on your door so you didn't trick or trunk treat, trunk treat, on the 31st, and that's Hallowed Eve. It has turned to be Halloween, but that's Hallowed Eve, meaning that the night before the saints arise. And we celebrate All Saints Sunday on this day as we commemorate the time that saints rise to meet Christ. And on this day, we recognize two of the saints of this church. We recognize Miss Patricia Allen, who passed away during this year. And we recognize Blanche Bedard Morris, who passed away this year. If there are people from those particular families, would you please stand? Man. Yes, man. Life should never go into transition without being recognized. We know truly that God gave life and God take it away. But on this day, we stand and we pray, recognizing those who have gone before. We light the candles, one for Patricia Allen, one for Blanche Bennett Mars. May the light so shine in our hearts and in our spirits. Let us pray. Gracious and wonderful God, we're gathered in your house. And we pray for these families who suffered immediate loss. Yes. And we pray for our church yes. who experiences a vacuum because of these people who are no longer in the world. Mm. And on this day, Lord God, we pray for everyone here, not only memorializing, but to offer our prayers, our thanksgiving, mm -hmm our petition so that you might hear the depths of our hearts. Yes. Yes. Lord God, as we stand before you on this day, we stand before the doors that may spring open to show us the hope of a future. Yes. We stand, Lord God, in the face of evil, mm -hmm. but we know that you can Take care of it all. Yes, Father God. God. Yes, yes. Lord God, we stand before illnesses. Yes. Lay your hands upon those who find themselves sick and warm. Yes, Father God. There's war in the world, Lord. We ask that you would just put your hands on it so that we can study war no more. Yes. We know that there are those who prepare for war at the outcome of the election. But Lord God, we know that you know the future. You know, Father. Yes. And we're going to put our hands in yours. Yes, Father yes. God. There's so much that needs to be done. Yes. yes. And we ask, Lord God, that you would just fix us. Yes. So we have a little talk with Jesus, the yes. Lord. Yes, Father yes. God. Yes. And may he hear our prayer. Yes. 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 We ask now, Lord God, that you would blanket those that you promised. And keep us. Thank you, Jesus. Not for ourselves, but for the goodness of well, well, yes, well, Jesus. And dear Lord, now we offer you these prayers. Yes, Lord. And we offer them yes. in the sense of belief. Yes. In the name of Jesus the Christ, we do pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
Yeah. 
Yes, you are, Lord. Yes. Bless you, Lord. Gracious God, we just thank you for the day. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for what you're bringing. Yes. And Lord God, I ask you to use me according to your will and your way. And dear Lord, let us leave here better than when we came. Amen. Amen. Bless your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I just want you to know that that's one of the top five of my favorites. Hallelujah, Jesus. Top five in the Lord is Amen. Amen. Yes, God is. Yes, He is. We shall be holy. May He touch you. Amen. Pass me not. Hallelujah. And I'll say you for Thank you. Before I go any further, I'd like to thank. I, I'm the person who likes to thank people. I want to thank the Cheryl and Marcel for the stellar work on Wednesday night. Amen. Amen. They did way beyond expected. Amen. Amen. by the district superintendent said this is
of certain things. But it wasn't in a vacuum. When God promises, God expects mm -hmm. some results. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it says that if you are faithful, see, we didn't pick that up. My if God, you yeah, are faithful, yeah, yeah, yeah. then I will cover you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of all of your problems. Yes. Yes. I will cover you of your trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah. I will feed you in your hunger. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And I will save you. Oh, yes, Jesus. Many of us like to take the easy road yes. out and we just hear what we want to hear. Mm -hmm. But That's God right. promises a new beginning, but God also expects yes, yes. certain yes. things from us. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we have a tendency not to fully believe. I, I look at us now standing on the precipice of a new era in America. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. As we stand here, there's still some people who don't believe it can happen. Amen. Mm -hmm. But God has promised mm -hmm. that through the ages, if you're faithful, yes. Mm -hmm. that I will make a new beginning. Yes. It is up to us mm -hmm. to look at the Bible that informs us that yeah. God keeps his promises Amen. 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 and never say what God can't do. Come on, Amen. 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 Uh -huh. A mere mortals, mm -hmm. and we celebrate the mortal lives of Pauline and Blanche, but you and I are looking towards becoming saints. Amen. Mm -hmm. We don't become saints just because we die. That's right. That's right. We come, become saints because we're hooked in to the source of power. Amen. Yes. Go ahead, man. We're hooked in uh -huh. to the belief that God always keeps his promises. Amen. 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 We look at the fact that, that in Isaiah, he prophesied. And John, he brings to us a witness yes, of yes, the yes. power of God. Yes, 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 yes. That witness is that he raised Lazarus yes. from the dead. Yes, 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 yes. Now there were those naysayers out there yes. who said, well, if he can make the blind see, and we talked about that last week, uh -huh. if he can make the blind see, surely he can have kept that man from dying. Yes. Yes. But you know, death is not the end. And That's Jesus right. came to say that if you believe in me, uh -huh. you will believe in me from the beginning yeah. to, to the end. Yeah. Yes. 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 And he said in what I call modern language, a Missouri moment, he had to show them that he was God. Yes. That's right. yes. Yes. And he came. And you all say it all the time. You may not be there when you want to, but what? <laughs> all the time. <laughs> came on time uh -huh. to make a witness mm -hmm. to people that he was able to turn the world around, yes. to make life out of death, yes. to come and make changes in our soul. Yes. Mm. Now, now, now. You can read the Bible for yourself, but, but an application. Mm -hmm. As you and I live through these treacherous times, mm -hmm. God is speaking to us yes. mm -hmm. that if we are faithful yes. Yes. in our prayers, mm -hmm. if we are faithful in how we do things, mm -hmm. That he will keep his promise to us. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. He will keep his promise. There shall not be any dying. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only sleeping. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sleeping, awaiting. Yes. Awaiting. Now, some of you think this is grim, but I've already paid for my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I paid for my crib because I don't want to go in the ground. <laughs> I don't like snakes. Mm -hmm. oh, and I don't want to be burned because mm -hmm. I spent my life trying not to go to hell. Amen. <laughs>
told me your name plate is on there. It's ready for you. It's ready. And when we pray our prayers, then we can be ready. Amen. We don't know the time. We don't know the moment. That's right. That's right. We don't know which way. That's right. But I didn't want anybody making decisions about what they thought I wanted. Amen. <laughs> because I want to lay in sleep, as the scripture says, mm -hmm. awaiting mm -hmm. the great getting up movement. Now, I'm trying to do it. You know, God will fall asleep. And God wakes us up. That's right. That's the promise when you believe. And just like Job says, you know, uh, I'm, my body might turn to, to worms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jeremiah says, my body might rot, but I know my Redeemer lives. Amen. 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 Because he lives, uh -huh. I shall live also. Amen. Amen. Now, not only prayer, because some of us just pray. And do nothing else. But we gotta be patient. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. We gotta hold tough. Yeah. Yeah. We have to wait. Mm -hmm. There have been prayers that I made 30 years ago and they just came to fruition right. a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, I've forgotten about those prayers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but God did. That's right. That's right. Hey, you know. Amen. Keep Hallelujah. Jesus. Yeah. 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 So be careful mm. about what you say. All right. All right. All right. All right. And what you pray for. That's right. 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 Because God's memory uh -huh. is long. Oh, yeah. right. God's memory uh -huh. is sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. God's memory uh -huh. comes back at us. Uh -huh. So if you don't want that long-haired woman, you better not pray. <laughs> Do something mm -hmm. between the beginning mm -hmm. 
at the end, all right, you never make the goal. Amen. Because God says, I am Alpha and Omega. Now, I know you've come used to my personal testimony. Uh, when I was a district superintendent, it was hard. I had an all-white district, 99 churches in the hills of Ohio. They had not known a black woman except in their kitchens. I brought one black woman to the district to serve, and she just messed up. And I was down. My parents were sick in South Carolina. And I said, Lord, what are you doing? And I was sitting in my kitchen, lamenting. And the phone rang. And I picked up the phone. And when I picked up the phone, the person immediately just started praying. Praying, praying, praying. The kind of prayer like I knew the voice, but I didn't know the voice. Mm -hmm. I knew the spirit, but I didn't know the spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I look at it, a voice from heaven, and he just prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. Mm -hmm. And when he was finished, he said, it is done. Oh, yeah. 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 That is the prayer mm. that strengthened me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I say that to you today, that it is done. Yes. We don't have to worry mm -hmm. yeah. about what's coming. Mm -hmm. right. It is done. Yeah. Yeah. And what you get yeah. is promised. That's right. Where there won't be any more tears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There won't be any more pain. That's right. That's right. There won't be any more suffering. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There won't be any other doubt. There won't be a time where you're not sure. And we can know that God is with us. It is done. It is done. A new beginning has been promised. Trust God. Amen.
Well, all of this stuff won't matter. None of it. You can't take your credit cards to heaven. Amen. Amen. You can't take your mate to heaven. But God has promised. So if you want to recommit, I open the altar to you to come and pray. If nothing more than just say hallelujah, thank you. Hallelujah. Because I thank God for this day. Hallelujah. Lord God, there are people here who are sitting on the fence between being faithful and doing their own thing. I ask, Lord God, that you will be with each and every one of us yeah. and strengthen us in our walk so that we might be in your will and your way. Lord God, I want to see you. I want to see you. And my testimony might be that I'll be shrouded in white and be amongst those where being questioned about who are they. These are they who come through the tribulation. They persevered. Thanks be to God.
celebration for Christ our Lord invites to his table all who loves him, who earnestly repent of their sin, and who seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Let's pray together. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us from joyful obedience. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. Let us offer one another signs of reconciliation and love. Don't you don't need to move. Just offer peace signs to God. Love you so much. God loves you and so do I. Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And so for the people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Amen. Thank you. 
salvation. Take drink. Since all of you eat and drink, eat and drink in memory of thanksgiving of a wonderful God. We leave this table but not in the presence of his holiness. And may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you. And the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit as we move from this hour of worship into the worship life that's expected of us.
so important. Amen. Please vote. Because on Wednesday, if you have not voted and things have crashed, your one vote will have made a difference. Amen. That's right. good word. Now may the grace, the peace, the power, and the presence of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with you now, henceforth, and forevermore. Amen. Amen.